Welcome to another series of Hospitality Insiders at Kani TV. Today, I'm so excited and honored to present Kay Lang, one of the best designers in the hotel industry. Hi, Kay. Welcome. Hi, Connie. Thank, Thank you for being here. So, I, would you please share with the audiences who you are as well as all what you do? Certainly. Thank you, Connie. Yes, Kay Lang and Associates, we've been a company, we've been around for a long time, and we are rated in the top 100 in the nation. Currently, we have 24 employees here in the United States and another six in Shanghai. We're working internationally all over the world. I know that I've known you for a long time and uh, followed you all these wonderful projects that you have done. And I am so marveled how you could really get those incredible jobs in an overseas. What, what is your uh, trick? What, what is your method <laughs> to get those wonderful jobs in the overseas? You know, I think it comes, it, when you have passion and you have a desire and the clients can feel that you can deliver something of their vision. And I think we have the ability to project that. And that's very important. I think they feel yeah. that from mm -hmm. their heart. Mm -hmm. Like we're not the company that's just collecting the paycheck. We're actually there to do the work, get the work done and follow it to the very end. And we have a lot of happy clients and repeat customers. So So that's it's basically referral. It's so basically one job referral. Done. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. It's it's yeah. word of mouth and referral. And you do one great job and then the people refer you to the other jobs and so forth. So that is the really the secret of a success of a business, isn't it? It really is, no yeah. matter if you start from the ground up and when I first started I started out of my house. I had a little dog barking at my and I used to say, Shh, quiet, quiet. <laughs> Literally, and here we are today. So it's it's passion, it's drive, it's a willingness to learn, it's a willingness to give uh, uh, your people a chance to grow with you and actually mentor your people and keep the standards up. I know that you have worked in many different places, mm -hmm. but how do you manage your staff? You know, when you hire, what is your uh, criteria and mm -hmm. how you grow them because as you and I know nobody can be great by themselves Correct. So you need all that great support and I know I see it every time we visit your studio everybody's so enthusiastic and wonderful wonderful people that you have so tell us a little bit about what you do in, in, in your uh, employees I think it starts with the selection process you get you make sure that you know, there's no I in team, and you make sure that the people that you interview are team players and that they also have a passion because they have to be passionate about what they do and involved in what they do. And it's not just a job. They have to love design and they have to be able to want to go on this path. And uh, a lot of people think design is, whoa, it's so wonderful and glamorous, but sometimes it isn't. Yes, I guess the end project is the people see is just a beautiful part, but they never see what is happening in the back of to make it happen. That's correct. So can you kind of uh, give us a little guide how you start and what happens mm -hmm. and then how you end up those beautiful projects that you hotel guests can stay mm -hmm. and enjoy it? Well, you know, doing it so long, we have certain kind of procedural elements that we start with, and we have different phases, typically five phases. We have concept, schematic, design development, construction documents, and then we have interior implementation phase. So we follow the project from start to finish, and it helps if you have a very good architect. Even though we do architectural interiors as well, and along with the color materials and specifications, the whole package, it also helps if you have a good team, a good developer, good lighting consultants, good engineers, the whole package. And then hopefully the purchasing agents that you work with, they're on your team too. So everyone's working in tandem to get to the end goal. So uh, besides your own staff and mm -hmm. associates, you have a lot of other people needed to be involved in making this hotel yes. as a whole. Yes, you do. It so, takes a whole team. 
give us a little bit of a who are they? Who mm -hmm. are you associated with mm -hmm. to make, you know, when we stay in the hotel, mm -hmm. just walk in the guest room, mm -hmm. we go, wow, this is beautiful. Mm -hmm. But really never understand what it is, the painful, you know, experiences that you have to go through to make this uh, beauty. Right, and you know, it, it, I guess, some projects are more painful than others, and others are so, you know, you've got great clients and they understand the process. And typically, the branded projects, the Hilton's, Hyatt's, Sheraton's, Westin's, Marriott, Mandarin, Four Seasons, they have it down. They have good project managers that come on board, and we have meetings in the beginning, and everyone knows their place. And then it helps at the end, like yourself, if you have good people support vendors, that know what you're trying to do and interpret your design to get you to the end goal. Right. I mean, that's a big part of it. Right. So you are really depending on a lot of people to support you uh, to make that end goal. That's true. Yeah. You've got manufacturers, all the case goods, you've got all the fabrics, you've got all the finishes, you've got the con uh, contractors, you've got the subcontractors, you've got lighting consultants, you've got so many different elements. You've got technology that has yeah, to be infused course. into all of it. Right. Right. So uh, someday I wish we can get into some details. Mm -hmm. But right now, would you be able to share mm -hmm. what is the most proud job that you have done? Wow. You know, it's an interesting question <laughs> because everyone always asks me this question. And I would think that my, my, one of my favorite jobs here is the Mandarin. Oriental in, in Las, Las Vegas, Vegas oh, which is yes. a brand new yeah. tower. It's beautiful. It's beautiful mm -hmm. and um, it's right here for the world to see. Yeah, that is a really uh, incredible uh, hotel. It's just, you know, you are in Las Vegas, but when you walk in there, you just feel like somewhere else, you yes. know, it's just not... Uh, International, yeah, yes. It is great. Thank you, Kay. When we come back, we're going to ask her how she balances her personal life to her busy schedule of opening hotels all over the world. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. The first online internet TV station for the hospitality industry. Congratulations, Connie TV. If you have not started watching it, you definitely should. Join us now. Welcome back to Interview with Kay Lang. In this session, we are going to introduce how she balances her life with her busy schedule. Hi Kay, Hi, welcome Connie. back. Thank you very much. And now the audience would like to know how you balance your personal life with this busy schedule all over the world, traveling and opening these wonderful hotels. Well, I tell you, the first thing you have to do is have a good nutrition. Okay, and you have to have some exercise. Every morning when I get up, I do stretches, I do a little yoga, <laughs> I do a little mind breathing. That's great. I do a little stair steps before I start my day and I kind of I give thanks That's that great. I'm here. Mm -hmm. And I think if everyone kind of practice that session of being grateful that we're here and alive, gives you a different perspective when you drive into work you know you're, you're ready to go you know you're absolutely right that you know we all know that we have a purpose in life and you know your purpose is designing that hotel guest rooms mm -hmm. and that harmonizes what you do and without the health mm -hmm. yeah there's nothing you can do that's true so you got to take care of your body not only on your physical mental and everything every morning and I admire you doing that every morning before you start working. Yes. But what inspired you to become a designer? Well, I'll tell you, I'm an artist, so I can draw. And um, I was an illustrator when I was, I, I paid my way through college illustrating for different contractors and different, you know, people that hired me for the newspapers actually used to do oh, illustrations yes. yeah. for Holly Speck Lighting. Wow. So, um, one day, a contractor gave me some work to do a facade of a hotel building, and I really loved doing it, but they didn't give me enough specs. The designer didn't give me enough information, so I just kind of ran with it. Oh. 
And then the next thing, I went and applied to a company that specialized in, it was retail design actually, not hotels. But they immediately hired me on spot and gave me that day a chair and said, here you go, here's your desk, here's the project. And that's how it started. And yeah. I've never looked back. Uh -huh. So Wow, that is incredible. And then you started your own business. Yes, that was, that was, that was a courageous moment in my life. Um, I was with Howard Hirsch uh -huh. when he was alive. Right. HBA is right. the company, it's number one in the world. And I studied a lot under Howard when he was alive. And I turned around to him one day and said, Howard, you know, I want to do what you do. And he said, oh, what do you mean? I said, well, I really want to design hotels and I want to have a business and I want to do it. He says, well, you're going to have to put a lot of time in it. And he was absolutely right. But uh, I did, and here we are. Yeah. And there is no 8 to 5 in work of design, is no. it? No. <laughs> you know, it changes. It, it really does. I mean, there's some days that it's, it's quite normal, and then there's some weeks that it's insane. But it, 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 it's ebb and flow. It's like life. You, yeah. know, you have great times. You have soft times. It's, it's a, to me, it's like life. You yeah. do it, and if you, again, if you love what you do, you know, sometimes you're here till 9 o'clock at night, right. but the time just goes by because I'm not stressed that I'm not going, oh my God, I gotta get home. I gotta, right. I, I, I'm in my creative mode. So. Right, yeah. So I assume you're married, right? Yes, I am, and I've yeah. got wonderful support. Thank God, that's one of the other things you need is good family support. That's right. I have a wonderful husband and um, a daughter and a great dog and we have our own on the weekends when I do have time you know I enjoy spending time with them. So what other hobbies do you have? Well um, so I used to dab a little bit in golf not too bad a golf one. my mom was a professional so oh, good. that's kind of fun to be outdoors and, right. and do that yeah. Right so on the weekend or your pastime what do mm -hmm. you enjoy to do? I do a lot of different things every weekend. Um, you'd be we go for long walks, always on the beach. We, I live very close to the beach, so I get up on the, we go for two and a half, at a minimum two and a half mile walks on the beach with the dog. And so that's kind of starts my, my morning. And then, you know, as everyone, I have a life. I have to run all the errands that I do on the weekend that I couldn't get during, done during the week. But then, you know, we go to movies, we go to plays, we, we you know, I go and do things. We live right by the boats, sometimes we mm -hmm. go out. Just whatever strikes our fancy to do. Yeah, that's that's fantastic. So I mean, any time that many people get so stressed out, when you have your own business mm -hmm. and you have really have no personal life, and then without the balance, you you can really get worn out very very uh, soon. I also get good massages. Oh, that's there good. There is a yeah. very good <laughs> massage place near my house. That's always my, good. I have them on standby. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, yeah. It is because you need to detox. I mean. Mm. It's too, even in the best of worlds, you know, you, you know, it's so much responsibility getting these projects done. But and, and you take that stress into your body, even if it's good stress, it's stress. So you have to do something. And um, we, you know, moving yeah. and walking and massaging and yeah, that keeps you young too. Isn't yes, it? Yeah, it, absolutely, it too. absolutely. Yeah, that's great. You know, we've been in the hospitality industry for so long, yes. and we must love it, right? Yes. And uh, this. Uh, why do you like the hospitality industry versus residential? Well, I'll tell you why. I think you get every piece of it. You also get the residential piece. You get the public areas. You get restaurants. You get creative suites to do. You get living spaces. You get presidential suites. You get outdoor terraces. You get pools. You get landscaped areas. I mean, you get to do it That's all. That's true. That is absolutely true. Yeah, and, and the you residential, you're way. just doing this one, you know, it's a living, dining, bedroom. I mean, it's a very kind of methodical process. This, I get to create. It's yeah, fun. That's, that's great. So hold that thought, and when we come back, we're going to ask her her future plans and all the great things that she has in the future. This is Ken Salyer with Tricus, and I want to thank you for watching. For watching. For watching. You're watching. Thanks for watching Connie TV. Connie TV. Connie TV. Watch it every day for the latest hospitality news, hospitality trends, or whatever you desire to find out in the hospitality industry. Come join us now at ConnieTV.tv.
welcome back. Now let's hear from Kay what her future plan is and for her company and herself. Welcome back, Kay. So can you share with us your future plans about your company as well as personally what you're planning to do? Certainly, Connie. You know, I have big plans for the future. I'm okay. actually excited for the people that work here, and some of them have worked from 14, 16 years. Mm -hmm. and some of them are, are going to benefit from the future. I believe in what some of my early thoughts are. Mm -hmm. uh, I am in the process right now of looking at a kind of a replacement for me, mm -hmm. uh, stepping in, and I do have pe people in my company that I'm looking at to be senior partners of the right. next, yes. next, next version of mm -hmm. K Lang and Associates. Mm -hmm. How we expand and mm -hmm. I think my goal is that all these people have worked so hard should be able to benefit mm -hmm. in the future mm -hmm. and own a piece of what I've brought into the world right and I it's always about giving back mm -hmm. in a way yeah that's fantastic so it's uh, carrying a K Lang design legacy in yes. A sense. yes and um, I, I bet that all your staff is very excited about that yes and, yeah trying to make that and so good. So if you do, mm -hmm. if it happens and with all mm -hmm. that is great, you're mm -hmm. satisfied with, mm -hmm. and what is your plan for you personally? Oh, Jesus, <laughs> you know, I don't know. That's a hard one because, uh, you know, as we get to a certain age, obviously you slow down, but I don't think I'll ever slow down completely. Honestly, no. I'm always, it's going to be something it'll be different you know at one point I thought I'd like to write a book I have so many interesting clients yes. that I would love to write a book a story about this design and this process right and that's one of my thoughts um, I'd like to go back to painting because I'm a I'm a pretty decent artist uh -huh. so it's something I don't ever really have time, time to do, to do it. Yes. You know? So. Yeah, you become actually too expensive to yeah. become an artist <laughs> when you're running the company. Right, exactly. Yeah, so. exactly. Yeah, that's, that's great. You know, they said that the fisherman fishes in the pier but buy the bigger, bigger, bigger boat. Mm -hmm. And then the reason is they want to go back into the pier to fish again. Right. You know, so we are actually doing the same kind of a legacy. That's true. And, and I know that you definitely earned your credentials in the industry and you worked hard and most importantly not only a great designer yes. but a wonderful person and which makes uh, very diff different than you know just any company like you said so explain to me when you nurture your mm -hmm. people mm -hmm. the, the the how do you see their future what do you see k Lang associates five years mm -hmm. from now well you know the business is changing so rapidly it's kind of hard to put a where I see it going, although I really understand that people will always have the need to, for design. Right. I mean, design is an ever-moving process, so you do have to keep up with the times. You do have to keep up with technology. Where the technology goes and how the design is going to evolve, I'm not sure about that, but I know that, again, it goes back to basics. If you have passion, if you have good people, have people that are enthusiastic, well-trained people and team players, and you keep ahead of that curve, you know, or right on that curve, you're you're bound to be successful. So, you, you, do you see that new? I mean, not a, I wouldn't say new, but the, this growing KLN company, mm -hmm. whether with you or without you, you probably always out there to watch over. Oh, I'm sure. Even if I sold the company, let's say you would have someone that would they would ask you to stay on for. A certain length of time to to mentor and be because it really is K Lang is a brand. Right now we also I have designed some some furniture which I love to do and uh, fabrics and other things textiles and that's another avenue might be a whole new chapter who knows you yeah know? that that would be exciting it's always exciting to look at what's unknown isn't it yes and explore that uh, avenue so now share with us some of the thoughts that you have that we haven't talked about. Mm -hmm. uh, anything anything else you want to share with the audiences? And uh, please uh, be welcome. Well, I, I think it's that one of the things as a, as a leader in the industry and a leader to my people, I think it's really important that the education, the vendors, you know, 
everything stays current, um, to expose them to the current events. I think it's very important not to keep yourself in a little bubble because, you know, we all have our little kingdoms, our own little worlds, and sometimes we have to step out of it, and shake your own self up and say, well, maybe there's a better way I could do it. And I think that's important. I think that would be my advice. Uh, so how would you implement that when you... Well, I think it's an exchange of ideas, you uh -huh. know. Um, you have young people coming in this industry who are fresh in a different fresh perspective and it's good to have an exchange with them and talk to them and say well what do you think what, what how would you present this even though they might not have experience they have those fresh eyes and i think it's really important to you not only have the experience level but have that young eye as well and you know to merge the two successfully which is always not so easy with different generations it's just being able to get the team together so that they can talk and communicate. And I think that's, that's important being a leader too. I think that's very, very wonderful because there are a lot of young people who are out there trying to inspire by your message and then wants to be the designer. And thank you for sharing that, that mm -hmm. thought. Thank you, Kay, for such an inspiring message today. And would you like to come back and for other time? Oh, I'd be delighted, Connie. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for joining us today, hearing inspiring words from Kay, one of the best designers in the hospitality industry. If you'd like more information, please come back, ConnieTV.tv. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. Congratulations, Connie TV. The first online internet TV station for the hospitality industry. Congratulations, Connie TV. If you have not started watching it, you definitely should. Join us now.